welcome back to my second tutorial on making of signature so let's just start off now okay yeah now make a new document I'm using 465 by 160 click OK now we got this uh, first off just select cool color you like I'll do like this and maybe a little brighter right here just do something like this then you want to make a new layer and click right here see this click it and that will make the default colors black and white I go with filter render and clouds and do overlay you can hit control F if you don't like it that will change the clouds effect I'm gonna have it like this that's cool now make a new layer and open up your render that you have I'm using um, Halo I really like Halo I think it's so cool just cut that out copy it and paste it now I'm just gonna place it right here I like it this way so yeah uh, what do we do now? Oh yes, um, you see the rectangle marquee tool on the way bottom. It says single column marquee tool. You want that? So yeah, click that. Have the render layer selected, and just click maybe here. That is colorful. That will select one line in the uh, uh, render. So. Control C and then Control V. I will just copy and then paste and just drag it, drag it out, just like this. Apply and then put on overlay or soft light. I don't really care. So just have like if you want more, you can hit Control J. It will duplicate it, so it gives you more effect. And then you can just take it off the render. If you don't like it, if you don't like if it goes over the render, just take it under the under it. So just put it right here. I'll have it right there. But I'm gonna have it under it. I think it's much cooler. Sorry. Okay, now let's just take select. Let's just select the. The render and hit Control J, or you can just go right click and do duplicate layer. Then hit the, that one, go filter and blur and radial blur. Let's, um, have the amount 100. Have it zoom and quality uh, best. Hit OK. Now we got something like this. Then go in uh, blend mode and select linear dodge or color dodge. This looks okay. Put it below the below the good render, so it is behind behind it. So yeah, now what are we gonna do now? Um. Um. Okay. Um, I got some cool galaxy stars brushes. I'm gonna select that. Right, this one maybe. Just make a new layer. Just play with it. I'm probably gonna put the link to these brushes in the description. Well, this is okay. I like it. So now, what we want to do is see the um, the color render that we did first, the orange one. You can always change it. So just go and hit Control U, opening up the hue saturation. And if you hit colorize, that gives you the chance to change the color of it. So if you like purple or pink. Can change it, then you have blue one. We got some blue one. 
I think I can change it. it didn't come out too good. I like this one. And if you can, if you want to, we can. Oh, steam. If um, we can make two colors like this. I like do like this one. Sorry about that. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I just forgot. It's one. Was it? Probably, probably, linear, linear burn, or. Just over no soft soft light yeah soft light. Sorry about that, guys. I just forgot. And it, you can make a new layer. Just have it like orange. I don't think. Fill it and soft light. And then you got some really cool. But I'm gonna drop that because I really like this color. So I'm gonna just take my brush tool. Some crunchy brushes I got there, and I have it black. I just click. Whoa! Ah, I'm failing so bad right now. Sorry about that, guys. There, and then you change it. Click. Like this. That's pretty cool. Got some really cool effect there. So, what I just did, I took a crunch brush and I just selected the backgrounds and just took out the sides of sides of it, so it makes it more black there and light behind the render. So, it comes out pretty cool. If you want to, you can make a new layer uh, and let's see what we got. If you got some cool abstract renders, please use it. Like I got some right here. Where is it? Right there. I think we're gonna use it right now. Okay, so here. There. Put on overlay. So it gives it kind of like a texture. If you duplicate it, it comes pretty, really nice out. I'm gonna keep that. That's really nice. I really like it. So, make a new layer maybe. And hit Control A. That will select all of the image. And hit right click and go in stroke. Give it a two or three stroke. Go right here. So, black. Have it inside normal. And opacity 100. Then you got the border around it. If you want to, you can hit overlay. That gives it kind of like nice effect there. I'm just gonna keep it on normal. I really like this. Yeah. Now the last thing we're gonna do: put a text on it. No, that's really small. Right click the layer right here, go on binding options. Um, here we can just play around really. Drop shadow, auto glow. I'm gonna give it an auto glow right here. Uh -uh. What should it be? Like a black. No, yeah, I mean, I mean blue. Sorry about that. Because there's blue behind it, so I'm gonna give it like a light.